Ahoy there, mateys, and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Kickmaster in the NES. This level will be aboard the ship of Strife and... Sorry, can I stop this for a second? First off, I have to apologize for the fact I said there was two spells in every level. The stage 5 only has a spell for defeating the level boss and no hidden spell. My second apologies for claiming the question. Magic was completely useless. I'm so sorry. Anyway, back to playing Kickmaster. Stage 5 introduces us to these mermen who shoot bubbles from their crotch, as well as some odd falling grey grim reapers. The grim reapers can be exploited for easy experience if you take your time with the level. I think this is the developer's way of saying sorry for how stingy the last level was for experience. But yeah, why we have mermen strangely firing balls from their crotches at you. I I don't know if it would be best for me to comment on that, really. They're kind of weird, and they can't even give a little jacking motion as they spread it at you. It's, it's a bit unpleasant. But anyway, they're not so bad to take on. The balls are easily avoided, and once again, knee drops, double thrust kicks, double round house kicks. They make short work of everything here, and... As you can see, I'm just really farming for experience at this stage. And again, no problem from those reapers, and this last one allows me to level up for the boss. Not long into the level, we have our first weird flying mini boss, but first to reveal the nature of my question magic lies. As you see here, the magic actually reveals the hidden items on the screen, as well as pissing over your speakers. And I also get to show off here the pulse wave on the boss, just use it the once, and he's a pretty annoying boss, but he just flies in the same pattern over and over again. And the best trick to defeating it is either to jump kick through it, or you can slide kick through it at its lowest point when it's sweeping in to attack you. You can also risk it and try double kicking it when it's about to hit you, but it's probably not worth doing that there, and it's not really the most fun mini boss to fight, and what the fuck is it anyway? I mean, really, it's like a flying brain bird thing? Definitely a weird looking boss. And anyway, upon defeating it, I pick up the items revealed by the super useful question magic. I'm so sorry again. The question magic's the best spell ever. And carrying on, we have these weird green guys rushing all over the place. But they're no real ma like match for kickmasters like Thonalyn or myself here. And you can make short work of them. And once again, moving on here, we're gonna have the damn bird showing up again. But this time I've got the fly kick which puts us on even ground and we can just ply right through them. And finally they're less of a threat, especially the lack of bottomless pits. And once again the mini boss from stage 3 shows up again. And this time, similarly to the last encounter, it's even easier as there isn't a spike jutting out of the middle of the screen. Uh, it's a little back to front difficulty wise, but it allows you to feel like you're getting really better rather than feeling like the designers are just simply getting lazier. It's... I think it's to make you feel more powerful. Anyway, you've got these here weird whirlpools which are pointlessly easy and to be honest, the best thing about them is being able to experience farm them because they're not really tough at all. You can kick them with your variety of moves now and just get lots of shields off them and to be honest, they make it possible to level up twice in this level, which is pretty cool, and it allows me to level up twice, as I'll demonstrate. Anyway, that fly kick we got was the reward from getting level 5, and it's pretty good. It, once again, like the sliding kick can lead to some accidental deaths if you pull it off and end up flying into the abyss, and I will no doubt be demonstrating that accidentally in this let's play. And you see that our fr skeleton friends have shown up again, but uh, they've no new tricks at all, so Fondland can make them look like wee babies. Again, the use of our dropping knees probably the best thing, but you've got a variety of moves at this stage as well as magic, just you should have no problem taking them out at all. 
I kind of like the way sometimes they sort of run away from you in the... And again, their animation isn't bad. Less said about the background here, the better. It's just a big bright blue screen, no wave effects or anything. Obviously all the beat detail on the boat's gone on strike or something. Those green guys, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. They don't really look like pirates and half the time they just run into your foot anyway. Release the Kraken. Anyway, thanks to special guest Zeus for introducing this level's boss. It's the Kraken. Uh, the Kraken's mainly a pain in the ass because of the green balls constantly raining down on you. But aside from that, uh, double front kicking them or the roundhouse kick makes uh, quick work of the arms. I mean, he's not that bad to take on if you've got enough energy. It's always a good idea to heal yourself if you've saved up enough magic at this stage. But really, once you've kicked all his arms off, he's no problem at all. I think that's all his balls defeated at this stage. Or sorry, his arms defeated at this stage. Sorry, the raining balls distracted me. That's not a statement I get to say every day. But again, when the Kraken raises his ugly head, once you've kicked all his arms off, you can hurt him. And the magic spell from the level boss of level 3 just makes such short work of him. And I get enough experience to level up, so I can show off the butterfly kick here, which allows you to spin around. It's pretty funky looking. I quite like that there. But again, if lightning takes down Kraken so easily, I wonder why Perseus, Perseus sorry, had so much trouble in Clash of the Titans. But after dicking around with my moveset, I finally go over here and pick up the spell for defeating this level. Our reward for defeating this boss is the Lightning Whip spell, which is actually arguably less useful than our level 3 boss reward. Anyway, thanks again for watching this Let's Play, and hopefully see you again next time. I've been Megatron Bison, and this has been Let's Play Kickmaster.